U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on Wednesday Israel needs to pursue an enduring strategic success after its recent tactical victories against Hamas, urging it to seek a deal to end the war and bring back dozens of hostages. He spoke to reporters on Wednesday before traveling from Israel to Saudi Arabia on his 11th visit to the region since Hamas' October 7, 2023, attack triggered the war in Gaza. The United States hopes to revive ceasefire efforts after the killing of top Hamas leader Yehya Sinwar in Israeli military operation in Gaza last week. But there's no indication that either of the warring parties have modified their demands since the talks stalled over the summer. Hamas has said its demands have not changed following Sinwar's death. Blinken, who met with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and other top officials on Tuesday, said he had pressed Israel to allow more humanitarian aid into Gaza and reiterated his warning that the failure to do so could lead to a reduction in U.S. military aid. On October 7, 2023, Hamas-led militants blew holes in Israel's security fence and stormed in, killing some 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and abducting another 250. Israel's offensive in Gaza has killed over 42,000 Palestinians, according to local health authorities, who do not differentiate between militants and civilians. The war has destroyed large areas of Gaza and displaced about 90% of its population of 2.3 million people. The United Nations Conference on Trade and Development said in a report that it could take 350 years for Gaza's battered economy to return to its precarious pre-war level. October 7th a year ago, Israel has achieved most of its strategic objectives when it comes to Gaza, all with the idea of making sure that October 7th could never happen again. In the space of the year, it's managed to dismantle Hamas's military capacity. It's destroyed a bunch of its arsenal. It's eliminated its senior leadership, including most recently Yahya Sinwar. This has come at the cost, great cost, to Palestinian civilians in Gaza. Now is the time to turn those successes into an enduring strategic success. And there are really two things left to do. Get the hostages home and bring the war to an end with an understanding of what will follow. And that's what we've been working on uh, this past day and will continue to work on throughout this trip. We are resolute in our defense of Israel when it comes to attacks it's receiving from Iran, from Iran's proxies. And we stand with Israel, and we'll always stand with Israel in its defense. It's also very important that Israel respond in ways that do not create greater escalation and do not risk spreading the conflict. Uh, I can be very clear on that because I've been clear on that for the last year. We fully reject it. We reject any Israeli reoccupation of Gaza. I said so in Tokyo a year ago. It's been U.S. policy. It will remain U.S. policy. An Israeli airstrike leveled a building in the southern Beirut suburb of Goberi on Tuesday. The strike came 40 minutes after Israeli military Arabic spokesperson Avichay Adri issued a warning, claiming the two buildings targeted contained Hezbollah facilities. The building stood in a heavily trafficked area across the street from a large park, which has become a refuge for many displaced families. It is also not far from the French ambassador's residence in Lebanon. No immediate casualties were reported. At the time of the warning, Hezbollah's chief spokesperson was holding a pre-scheduled press conference just a few hundred meters from the targeted area. The event was quickly cut short, with journalists and the spokesperson evacuating the location. 
The Israeli military did not have immediate comment about the target of the strike.